Everybody get up and move your bodies with me from head to toe with Eric Carl. Parents and caregivers, I want you to notice two important things as we go through this activity today. One, we're working on non-locomotor movement, which is helping the kids to balance in a place of stillness. The other is self-awareness, which is part of social emotional learning. So as we move our bodies into these animal shapes, we're going to be talking about how those make us feel. Have fun. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. To move like a penguin, we will squat with our bottoms on our heels. We will fold our arms flat like penguins and we will slowly balance and turn and look slowly back and forth. I'm a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's move like a giraffe. Come to mountain pose with your feet planted about shoulder width apart, nice and strong. Raise those arms way up into the sky like a long giraffe neck and sway back and forth with your long neck. You can even look up and look down for giraffe. That feels like a calm pose to me. How about you? I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's move like a buffalo. First we come down onto our knees and on our hands into tabletop pose. And then we slowly sink our heads down between our shoulders and look up for a buffalo. How do you feel in this pose? I feel tough and strong and confident. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's move like a monkey. We're going to move into warrior two. So I'm going to take my front foot bent and my back foot back a little bit. And I'm going to bring my arms out and slowly move them like a monkey. Go ahead and make monkey sounds if you want. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. Let's be a seal next. Come down onto the ground all the way onto your tummy. We're first going to make locust pose and lift up our hands and our feet and lift our chest. Then we're going to put our feet down Put our elbows down in front of us and our hands in front and come to Cobra. Just a little bit off the ground. And then we're going to reach our hands like flippers out front and give them some claps. Like a seal. Arch, arch, arch. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. Next, let's move like cats. We've done this before. We come down onto our hands and knees and tabletop. And to be a cat, we take a deep breath. And as we blow out, we round our back as we squeeze our breath out and round our back like a cat. Breathe in again. Come back to tabletop. Meow. Meow. How do you feel being a cat? I feel relaxed. I'm a little tired. Might take a cat nap. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. Next will be a crocodile. Let's lay down by first starting into tabletop. Go ahead and go all the way down onto your tummy. Go ahead and leave your arms right here like you have little legs. Put up on your toes like this, like you have little crocodile arms and legs. And wriggle like little crocodiles. And your hands can come up a little and your toes can come up a little. 
you're a walking crocodile. Or try wriggling back and forth like a crocodile. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Next is camel. That's a fun one. How can I make a camel? Hmm. I know. I'll start in tabletop, like a lot of other animals, with my hands on the ground and my knees on the ground. And then I noticed in the picture that the camel bent its front legs to bend down and bow a little bit. And that's the camel. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. Next is donkey, friends. This is a fun one. Again, let's start in tabletop on our hands and knees. And we're going to move to downward dog. So we lift those back legs and push back. Now a donkey likes to kick. So I'm going to raise one leg and kick, kick. And I can try it on the other leg. Lift up and kick, kick. How do you feel being a donkey? I feel sassy or I might feel mad. So I'm going to kick what's behind me. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. Elephants have long trunks. Let's make our own long trunk and stomp our elephant feet. I'm going to stand in mountain pose, straight and tall. I'm going to do a forward fold and let my arms hang down like a rag doll, kind of wiggle around. Then I will clasp my arms together and put my head between my arms and swing my trunk gently back and forth. When I'm ready, I can stomp my feet with that. And sway and stomp like an elephant. I am I, and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it, I can do it myself like a human like I am. I can stand in mountain pose nice and strong and I can lift up onto one leg and lift up my toes and tingle tingle twitch twitch my toes put it down gently find my balance again and now rise up put out those other toes and Tingle, tingle, twitch, twitch those toes.